reached out for my dreams. I reached out for my vision. I reached out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion. Hello, our most valued student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our lesson today where we will be looking at the difference of two squares. To begin with, when we talk about the difference of two squares, the word difference means a negative sign. So it means a minus. So if we're talking about a difference of two squares, you can choose any number. For example, let that number be x. Now, if that number is a square, it will be x squared. And then the second number can be y. And then if it's a square, it is going to be y squared. So when we talk about the difference of two squares, we are saying there is a number with a square, a negative sign in between, and a number with another square. So please note that if you are given x squared plus y squared, this is a sum of squares and it does not apply in our lesson. It only applies the difference of two squares. So please take note that we are looking only at the difference of two squares. Let us start by looking at the first uh, example given. It says, using your calculator, can you find the following? So now it says 260 squared minus 258 squared. If I can bring the calculator and I have 260 squared minus 258 squared and the answer that I'm getting is 1036 or 1036 so let me write that answer as it's 1036 so that is the answer that we got using our calculator now we are going to use the concept of the difference of two squares to come and check if ever we are also going to get this number of 1036. Let us move on to the next. It says difference of two squares, we are given that number. Now in whenever you are using the difference of two squares, the concept says when you are given 260 squared minus 258 squared, you have your brackets in which you will have your 260 and you will have your 258. You also open two more brackets. You will have again your 260 and your 258. So you have got two brackets. Now in the first bracket, you are going to put a negative sign and in the second bracket you are going to put a positive sign so that is what they mean when they say the difference of two squares concept so in the first one we are going to move on to say if you, you are using your normal mathematics arithmetic 260 minus 258 you can see that you get a 2 here and also if you are using your normal arithmetic 260 plus 258 in this case you add 8 and the 0 you get your 8 you add the 6 and the 5 you get your 11 which is 1 carry 1 you add your 2 and the 2 is a 4 plus 1 is 5 this is normal arithmetic when you are adding now you move on now to multiply 2 times 518 which is 2 times 8, it's 16, which is 6 carry 1. 2 times 1, which is a 2, plus 1 is 3. And then 2 times 5 is a 10. So now, which is, the answer is 1036. Remember, this is the same answer that we got in the previous example, which is 1036. So you can see now, using the concept of a difference of two squares, we can still find the answer without using a calculator. So now, what does the concept say? It says, if you are using the difference of two squares and you are given x squared minus y squared, now we are supposed to simplify. You are going to have your two bracket in which you'll have your x 
and your y you also have your x and your y as i say the first one is negative you can start with a positive it's still fine and the second one is positive so you have simplified that expression using the difference of two squares also the next one you are given here is x squared minus 64 so now what you need to know or what you need to find out is how can i express 64 as a square so if i bring my calculator again you'll see that if i say 64 if i say 8 squared is equal to 64 another concept that you can use when you're given 64 you say square root of 64 if you find the square root of 64 is 8 so the number that you're going to have there is 8 so here you're going to have this is equal to x squared minus 8 squared so you see now you have got two squares in this case now it's a difference of two squares because between the squares there is a negative sign you move on now to simplify further as i said you have got your x and your 8 your x and your 8 the first one is negative and the second one is positive so you have solved using the difference of two squares in other words you have factorized using the difference of two squares let us move on to look at the next one in this example you are also supposed to use the concept of the difference of two squares to solve that sometimes as you can see it might appear hidden that this is a difference of two squares but you need to be very uh, careful or clever in the way you approach it this is one of the examples you are given 50a squared minus 8b squared now at first you can try to find the square of 50 if i take my calculator and i say square root of 50 you can see that i don't have a square root of 50 or if i can say square root of 8 i also don't have a square root of 8 which can become a problem because i must have a square root of a number for it to become a square so now but there is something interesting here is let us first factorize by taking out a 2 between the 50 and the 8 if we take out a 2 we're going to have 2 into 50 is 25 a squared minus 4 b squared now if i bring my calculator again you will see that if i now say square root of 25 i'm now getting a 5 and now square root of 4 i'm now getting a 2 so you can see that now in this case the 25 is now a square and the 4 is now a square which now makes whatever is inside the bracket a difference of two squares so if i continue with that so what i'm going to be having is two and then i will have my five squared a squared minus my two squared b squared if I continue, I'll have my 2, I open my bracket. So what I'm having here is 5a. What you need to do is just ignore the square and ignore that square. You can see you're getting a 5. Also, ignore the square and ignore the square. What you're going to see you are going to see a 2b so you write it again as 5a minus a 2b i mean i've already started with a negative i want i was supposed to maybe put a positive but in any way i can put now a positive on the side so this is what we mean when we say you have solved using the concept of a difference of two squares let us move on to the next one it's also an example you are supposed to solve using the difference of two squares and what you are given in this case you are given x plus one squared minus nine now there are two ways that you can approach this one let me start with the first one now if i can write that x plus one squared 
minus a 9. Now remember, if I take my calculator, a 9, if I can find the square root of 9, I get a 3, which means I can rewrite this as x squared plus 1 minus a 3 squared. So here now I can say let x plus 1, if I can correct that, I think I wrote something wrong here. I said x squared plus 1 in each case is supposed to be x plus 1 squared. The square must be on the outside of the bracket so, so that I don't change the sum. So let x plus 1 be equal to k. I can use the number k. So whenever there is x plus 1, I'm going to put k in here. So what do I have now? It means I have got k squared minus 3 squared. You can see now this is a difference of 2 squares whereby when I put my k and 3, I put my k and 3, 1 is negative, 1 is positive. But remember, what is your k? We said k is x plus 1, so you continue here. Where there is k, you go back to say, but my k was x plus 1, which represents our k in this case. So this k represents both of these. So our k is x plus 1. And now what you must have, don't forget that there is minus a 3. Similarly, the second k here, the k here, you must put in what? In that k, you must put your x plus 1 and then plus a 3. Then when you finalize your answer, it's x plus 1 minus 3, it will be x minus 2. If you use a calculator, and the other one it will be x plus a 4. So this is what is a way of using the k method, or you say let, because in this case, x plus 1 squared might confuse you. But let us say you are able to do your problem without any problem solving it from stretch I mean solving it straight away so what you're going to have in this case it will be x plus 1 if you want to solve it straight away it will be x plus 1 squared minus 3 squared then you open your brackets you will have x plus 1 minus 3 and you'll have x plus 1 plus a 3. So the key thing that I want you to notice is the sign is changing here in the 3. Why? Because it is where we are having the difference of two squares. So that's where the sign is supposed to be changing. So when you finalize it, you, you take a calculator, you find your 1 minus 3. Please don't leave your answer like that. You have to simplify further. In, in which case, the numbers must subtract or add, which will become your x minus 2 and x plus 4. So this is the concept or the way you approach when you're solving the, the difference of two squares. Sometimes some of the questions they are given in such a way that they are not clear that this is a difference of two squares, but you must be able to see that hidden is a difference of two squares. We've come to the end of our lesson. Join us again for the next lesson. Thank you. I reach out for my dreams. I reach out for my vision. Reached out for help that I thought I needed Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of